time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome back from a long Labor Day weekend Today is Tuesday, September 5th. Welcome to Power Hour Live. As the intro song was playing, my JSPs just hit 50%. And actually, I closed out most of I'm going to close out my last remaining one here as well. To get ready for Power Hour. Left one on just in case we had a uh, little runner market to the upside, but that's not the case. But the beauty of Theta Decay, I mean, price is literally either right at or maybe a little bit below where I put on the puts, and I just hit 50%. So that is the beauty of Theta Decay, my friends. Just selling puts, Boomer Sooner. All right, so for Power Hour, a little bit skimpy premiums. Looks like maybe the 4510 straddle. Already got my longs ready to roll. Also booked a little bit of profit on the Dick K special this morning. Stopped out of my last piece for a profit. Got a zero DTE duck on that I took half off of, took half off at 20%. If we get a uh, few point move lower, got a chance at a duck head. I've also got half my quiet lunch on, waiting for 80% to close the rest. And I've also got a PM iron condor on, which I'm looking, still looking for 40% to reduce stop and take half off of. So closest to four bucks. Looks like the 4510 straddle. These are some low premiums, probably the lowest, some of the lowest we've seen. Give it another minute before I jump in. Or you could do the, 
Yeah, it's probably the 4510 is the closest without going inverted. Got $4 on the put side, but closer to two bucks on the calls. All right, 4510 straddle. Trying to get filled at 595. Filled at 595 for tranche one. Been a pretty quiet day, my friends. It looks like a low of about 44.96 ish. Live about 45.14. About a 20 point range. Let's hope it just stays nice and quiet into the close. My PM, I've got the 4505s. So I'm trying to get out of half at 1350s, currently trading at 1470. It's be a little more than a buck to come out of that. I'll be in good shape on that one. Looks like Wooga front ran me. Got hit, got in at 6.05. Thanks, Wooga. Appreciate that. Oh, I, f I forgot. I also did the AM iron condor, the quick, quick trigger, uh, took a loss on that one. Small loser on that one. But everything else has been a okay. Based on the posts, looks like everybody else is doing, having a great day as well. Entered a one, two B and B double calendar. It's uh looks like it's up about 120 bucks. I've also got a six, seven on from Friday. That. I've got an order to close half at 570. That would be a 20% profit. It's currently trading at 525. So doubt that will hit today, but never know. Also got a double calendar in NDX that is up about 900, 800-ish. Got a TGIF and SPX. up about 700 ish got a time fly SPX that is up a little bit
going to strangle in the euro that's up a little bit. Got a hedgehog in oil it's up a little bit. Hedgehog in ES, pretty flat. Reverse hedgehog in gold, it's up a little bit. Added a new short strangle in MES today when volatility was getting pumped up a little bit. The other one after adjustments is get close to profit target, not quite there. NASDAQ hedgehog up a few hundred. Put on a new duck in SPX, 21 day -er. That's my day. And it looks like I just hit 40% on my PM iron condor. No, I hit 80% on my quiet lunch. Oh, nice. Beautiful. So I'm out of the quiet lunch for 80% on the second piece. So my PM iron condor, 40% at 1350. It's currently trading at 1355. So that's coming. Come on, hit it. PM iron condor, I need to reduce my stop from 12 to 8 if that hits. And there she blows, 40% on the PM iron condor. So I need to change that from 12 to 8. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. If power hour comes through, it could be a big, big day, my friends. It's a big if. Getting a little down move in SPX. Trading back down around 45.06. Still got some time before Trump two. And the premiums just keep falling.
So for tranche one, I got in at 595. So about 355, 360. Let's call it 360. I will reduce my stop on tranche one. chart that straddle. All right, so I need 360. It's currently trading at 550. Or power hour tranche two. Let's see if I've got my orders set up here just to confirm. Tranche two will be a straddle. Sixteen contracts. Yep, there it is. Eat that one. All right, good to go. And why is my toss frozen? I can't click on anything. It's not good. I don't think I have a pop-up anywhere now. Clicking on my other monitors and they're working fine. I can't drag it. It is not functioning. Still blinking. Values are updating, but Oh, there we go. I had to hit escape. Now I'm good. All right. It's good. I didn't want to have to reboot. Price trading down to 4505-ish, 4506. Still got over five minutes before I jump into tranche two. Right now it would be the 4505 straddle.
Yeah, it's uh, it's it's down there with the best of them, Morrow. The worst of them, I should say. But we've also got one of the tightest ranges for the day we've seen in a long time. Maybe going back to August 1st. That looks maybe like a little tighter, about the same as today. This is just like a little fake intro to September. It's a little September teaser. October. November 4505. I don't know how many longs I need to buy. Let's just go with, uh, I'll just buy 10 more just to be safe. Looking for the closest to three bucks on each side. Looks like it's going to be. We have 4,500 straddle. This price keeps moving down. Stop on tranche ones at 995. Spreads currently trading at 850. Getting close. Keeps pushing down. Tranche one will get stopped. Trading at 960. Stops at 995. Nine forty five. I'm gonna need a little bounce here to stay alive on tranche one. Go forty five hundred straddle for tranche two. Trying to get filled at five sixty. Build at 560 for tranche two. Tranche one still hanging on, hanging on by a thread.
Hanging on by a thread. Tranche two, 10 points below. Tranche one. Morrow and Wuga, I assume you guys were trailing on your tranche one. I escaped. I escaped the stop out on tranche one to this point. So for tranche three, I'm doing 14. Just gonna double check my order templates here. Tranche three, let's say it's a straddle. I've got 14 there. Four. Five wide. All right, I'm good to go. All right, we're going to need to play a little ping pong between forty five hundred and forty five ten. Actually, if we get down to 4,500, I would get stopped out of tranche one. It's creeping back down. Hey, Marl, that was a great uh, analysis you did over the weekend, too, by the way, of all the different power hour, all that power hour info you discussed in your video. That was cool. Spread tranche one's trading over nine. My stops at nine ninety five.
a PM iron condor could use a little bump up as well. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that just from the visual. Once we're out, we're ready to rip. Historically. All right, Toronto one back down to seven and a half. Well, I can tell you why that is. 2017 was brutal. It was literally just a slow grind higher with what did I think VIX got down in the eight handle that year? Well, let me come back to that. Get ready for tranche number three. Looking for the closest to two bucks. Looks like it could be a five point strangle or a straddle. Let's see. Give it another couple minutes. Oh yeah, this is this is high premium compared to 2017. Plus, you know, you got to think about what what the price of SPX was in 2017 compared to 4,500 today. So. Not only were the premiums compressed, but it was based on a lower priced product. So even lower. Yeah, half, less than half. I wasn't using NTT in 2017, but yeah, I would... If you're if you stuck with it, stuck with it long all year for sure. All right, looks like it's gonna be the O five O O five point strangle. Tranche three, five wide, 14. Trying to get filled at 265. Filled at 265 for tranche three.
yeah, I remember 2017. It was, it was a tough, tough year selling premium. So... Yeah, here was 2017 in SPX. I mean, just very little pullbacks. Yeah, and price, like, like you said, the price was half the size. SPX was half the price it is today. And here was VIX in 2017, hit a low of 8.56. Remember it like it was yesterday. And it, I mean, it spent a lot of time under 10. Yeah, not what we're looking for. Heading down to 4,500, my tranche one is still close to getting stopped out, but not yet. Trade at 965, stops at 995. Yeah, with our, with our strikes so far apart and low premium, it's almost like the best thing that would happen would tranche one get stopped out and then <laughs> then we maximized tranche two and three. I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, but just looking at the risk graph. And we bounced a little bit again. Tranche one still hanging on. No tranche three hedging for me. I'm also sharing the 4505s with my PM iron condor so that that has an effect on my risk graph as well on my power hour.
30 minutes until the bell, a little less than 30 minutes. So for tranche two, I also can reduce my stop at uh, 40%. So for tranche two, I got in at 560. So it'd be at 335. So if tranche two gets down to 335, I'll reduce my stop from three to two. Tranche two is currently trading at five bucks. Uh, Andrew K in the AM for Tuesdays. I only do the in my, as part of my plan. I only do the uh, the quick quick exit. But yeah, there's a one to one version. If you click on the tab at the bottom of my plan, that uh, on the August tab, you'll see it there. You just hover over it. There's a little note comment where I posted the one to one version. Yeah, I don't I don't trade a longer longer hold version on Tuesdays. I haven't I haven't found anything that really tests too good. So it's just the quick version for me. So 80% on my PM iron condor is going to be 450, still trading at 12 bucks. It's a straddle though, so I'm not going to I'm not going to try to get 80%. I'm going to move that up to I'll um, try to get at it. Let's do nine bucks. Uh, Raj, just like I have in my plan, I do 10, 16, 14.
Tranche one still didn't get stopped out. Currently trading about 750. Nowhere close to reducing my stop, but hanging on. And a little bounce back up above 4504. I would take a uh, stop reduction on tranche one and then it can go back and hang out closer to tranche two and three. That's uh, kind of the most ideal scenario here. He hasn't got it yet, Ron. Can't remember the date. September 19th or 20th, maybe? Yeah, 19th. Yeah, I wonder if our strikes are so spread out. It's getting a little little decay on the edges of each. Back above 4505. Tranche one's down to 550. I'm looking for 360. And I closed out my PM Iron Condor. Got in at 22.55, closed this last piece at 8.95. Nice. Tranche two is trading at seven fifteen. My stops at eight sixty. Dick K dropping bombs. Thirty six K on the day. That's awesome. All right, 
SPX can settle down a little bit. Okay, just brought in half of a uh, the average salary in the U.S. in one day. Average income in the U.S. in 2019 was 31. So I stand corrected. He just took in a full median income in the U.S. in one day. All right, Trunch 2 is up to 8 bucks. My stop's at 860. Tranche three stops at five sixty five. Spreads trading at three forty. So tranche two is the one that's in danger. About to get stopped out of tranche two if this thing pushes up much more. Gonna need a little pullback. Spreads trading at 850, stops at 860.
Whew, dodged another bullet for the moment. Atan Ra, you and Callie? Kelvin, you're in California too? Jimmy? Jim WZ and Callie? Oh, bless your souls. Get to deal with uh, Gavin Newsom, huh? All right, coming back down. Dodged a bullet on a stop on tranche two so far. Tranche one's trading at 515. I'm still looking for 360 to reduce my stop. Meanwhile, I may hit a duck head on my zero DTE duck. We can stay just below 4505. I'll take a 4504 pin. Right there, hold, freeze. 10 and a half minutes till the bell. Down below 4502. Now tranche one's back in trouble. Stopped at a tranche one at 975. 20 cent positive slippage. All right, tranche two and three, my most important anyway. Let's roll. Let's go.
Now I need 45 right here, 4501. My duck, I have an order at 30 cents. Oh yeah, that's about to hit. It's 35, 40. I don't think I've hit a zero DTE duck head yet. Down below 4,500, 44.99. Let's get a little bounce here the last couple minutes. What do you say? In August, just hover over that, Andrew K. And you should see a comment that has the other version on it. Can't find it all after we get done here. I'll try to get it for you. Uh, tranche two, tranche two, I should have reduced my stop three. Yeah. So I need to reduce my stop to 535. Okay. Well, three point bounce. Less than two minutes before I exit. I'm gonna put tranche two at a buck thirty. We can get a little bounce, it should hit. Tranche two. Let's go with two thirty. What a buck sixty. Buck sixty partial fill. Buck sixty filled. Tranche three is closed. So tranche two is the forty five hundred straddle. Orders at two thirty. Should be hitting. the 240 and I'm out so nice winner tranche one got in at 595 stopped at eight uh no no got in at 595 stopped at 975 tranche two got in at 560 out at 240 Tranche three in at 
265 out at 160. Booyah. Add to the good big day today. Love it. All right, my friends, uh, let's see. As far as the live stream goes, tomorrow is the 6th. So Chad is streaming in the morning, and we will be back again for Power Hour. Yeah, the fixed stops help big today. All right, my friends, take care. Have a good night. Cheers.